Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Windows failover cluster on Azure platform. So compared to on-premises, it's uh, quite different guys. Um, so we know in on-premises, two virtual machines, same configuration, same like here Azure platform also, but difference is uh, on-premises uh, cluster heartbeat uh, network separately is required. Uh, for that, uh, Windows failover cluster will going to attach the two network interface card, one for cluster heartbeat, another for management IP address. Management means it's a generally our application accessing and for, uh, through that network, that is a one. And it's a generally will create it like that way and deploy and configure uh, differently. But he, here on Azure platform, cluster heartbeat network, we, we are not going to create it. We are not, uh, not going to created so how is the going to get it and how we'll get the cluster role and uh, that uh, virtual ip address because of uh, on premises it's a possible but azure platform how we'll get it the virtual ip address and for that uh, like what services i'm going to deploy how we are going to utilize it and it's a one more difference here 2019 is a different 2016 is a different it's a uh, 2019 onwards. It's a uh, entirely different guys. 2019, 2022 operating systems. It's a uh, quite uh, same, but at 2016 below, 2016 and below, it's a uh, quite different guys. So I'm going to show you today 2019 and mostly next video. I'm going to show you 2016 also. After that, Linux uh, failure cluster also. I'm planning because of I'm not Linux guy, but it's uh, I'm trying to plan but I have very good uh, on that. Um, so uh, one time I set up uh, with the Microsoft documentation through that I tried to set up it and uh, I achieved it. And um, so I'm planning that video also uh, with the Linux failover cluster in Azure platform, especially uh, in on-premises Veritas failover cluster like that, but it is a Azure platform entirely different guys, entirely different. Azure fancy agent using that, how to deploy it, Azure Active Directory, these all components will come in the Linux platform. But today I'm going to show you uh, Windows Server 2019 with the Windows failover cluster, how to set up and configure and um, how to utilize it so i'm going to show you let's start it before that if you like my videos please subscribe and give the comments and like the button so that it's very encouraging it's a reaching to more people and getting the more you know subscribers thank you everyone and let's jump into the actual point here windows failover cluster 2019 so for that already i deploy two virtual mission guys the two virtual machines you can identify here windows win cluster 01 win cluster 02 and uh, i already deploy windows server that is a both are same configuration guys so we should use same configuration let me show you that configuration also win cluster 01 and 2019 operating system and it's uh, coming to what else it's uh, 2019 Gen, Gen 2 uh, VM and uh, disk also same configuration right now. I don't have any additional disk, only voice disk. That is a one and uh, coming to it's a uh, one more point here. And uh, for high redundancy purpose, I'm trying to take it zone one here and uh, second VM. I'm going to show you it's a zone two VM and um, you can see 2019 same operating system and uh, gen 2 same and um, yeah so these are the things and disk also only voice disk i'm using if you are attaching multiple disk and same disk we need to attach it uh, another vm also and the cluster same everything we should follow the same configuration guys so don't change it any configuration if you change it will definitely get the different issues that's the reason recommended by microsoft definitely everyone follow windows failover cluster means that both the missions should be same configuration same configuration that is a first point second thing so how we can domain join these missions so in the previous videos i already shown you guys and uh, a different way how to join the uh, windows server to on-premises windows server active directory how to join the 
Windows Server Active Directory Domain Journal, how to do it in Azure platform. Already I create a video for that. You can refer it so you can get the more idea on that. Coming to, let's try to uh, log in this uh, win payload cluster 01. That means win cluster 01 VM. I'm trying to use the batch here. I don't want to assign the public address. So that's the reason. So my credentials, this is a local admin credentials, guys. I'm providing. Let's try to connect it. Yes, VM1 is a trying connecting. That means win cluster 01. And same like win cluster 02 also. Connect Bastion and use trying to connect. So win cluster one as well as win cluster two, both the VMs we are trying to connecting through Bastion guys. Let's wait for loading the operating system. I took very basic configuration. VM size is a B2 series, but depends on uh, your requirement. You can take it any VM size also. There is no issue with that. So once is a loading, first of all, I'm going to turn off the Windows firewalls. Uh, so I don't require and if you, if you required it's a Windows firewall accordingly create a rules and uh, allow the things both the uh, both the clusters that way. So obviously it's a both VMs is a same subnet and um, no problem. So let's try to turn off the firewalls. I don't require. So here turn off. Turning off, it's a Windows firewalls and domain also. I'm going to turn off. And here, workgroup model right now. And it's IENS and security also. I will try to turn off. I don't require. So, workgroup model, this is a one. And trying to first is a join the domain. Change and domain name. It's a, my domain name is a cloud patashala my YouTube channel name dot com and click on OK. Yes, it's getting already I have domain controller with that name. So I'm going to provide um, so cloud patashala dot com slash KK. That is a username and password trying to join the domain <laughs> yes domain join okay the reboot is required restart now same like second vm in between time we'll try to do it and turn off the firewall first of all And um, yes, yes, and uh, yeah, okay, good. Turn off the firewall. I answered security, also, I don't require. I'm going to turn off, and after that, I'm going to domain join, change, and domain cloud patashala.com. Oh, so here it's a good not correct. Why something wrong with this? I provide any name. Let me try P A T A S H A L A dot com. Uh, so for domain, it's uh, okay. Let's try to check it. Why it's not not able to join the domain? And I think so. Custom DNS not updated. So here already updated. No issues. It should be work in this scenario. Anything wrong I'm doing? Let me check it. It's a... 
So nothing more on this. Let me try. Okay. Okay. Let me check it still. Turn off, turn off, turn off. Okay. And no issues with that. Let me try to do it. And uh, command prompt. Run as administrator. Let me try to ping. It's pinging working or not. Let me check it. Domain controller. IP address. Yes, it's pinging. It's communicating. Good. No issues. But uh, still, why I'm getting the issue? Very strange. Let me try it. Uh, any other? Let me try to check it. IP config slash all so it's showing dns 10.0.0.4 and i dotted i given so good and i don't have issue with this it's communicating as well but where is a problem okay let me try one more time so change settings change see okay cloud but uh, shala dot com okay i forgot to give that dot com okay that's my issue i understood um cloud but uh, shala dot com slash kk and uh, it's uh user ID and password for domain join. Okay. So, okay. So close it and restart now. It's trying to restart. So here two VMs is a, and again, I will try to connect the win cluster zero one. And one more point guys, it's a zone one, zone two, why not zone three? So if you have such questions and very starting, very, very starting, I create one video and uh, which zones we need to select it and uh, between the latency wise, how to test it, how we can uh, cluster servers, it's a deploy in which zones, zone one, zone two, or zone one, zone three, or zone two and zone three, which uh, way we can try to deploy it. So that is a one video is created, you can refer it. Okay, so let's jump into the login the first cluster 01 with cluster 01 and now i will try to connect with the credentials my domain credentials domain credentials trying to log in with the domain credentials guys and you can observe kiran.t go and kumar like that i'm getting so that is a way i create a uh, domain name user that uh, so i'm trying to log in with the credentials domain credentials same like win cluster 02 server also and i'm providing so here don't give it the in bastion don't give it the domain name guys if it is a on-premises windows server active directory if it is a join the domain and don't give it the the domain name slash so and so it, it won't work you should provide the only that username only you should provide the only username guys it's a trying to connect it okay great <coughs> so first of all here uh, in the dashboard server manager this is the one and try to install the windows failover cluster role so click on next 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 and here it's a is a future yes in the future and failover clustering add futures and next install it so in the first server it's a trying to install the windows failover cluster a role and same like that future role means it's a, that future is a installing same like here also i'm trying to install it and next windows failover cluster role 
yes good and next install it good it's uh, trying to installing the windows failure cluster rule on the both the nodes guys on the both the nodes it's a uh, trying to install it <laughs> so once is the installation completed what is the next steps here next steps is a uh, creating a cluster so for cluster else uh, there is any virtual ip is required or not how to get it and generally on premises cluster also required one virtual ip as well as uh, uh, i hope is a, a cluster heartbeat network is required but here nothing required that uh, virtual cluster ip is not required and um, as well as uh, this one uh, virtual ip is not required and uh, cluster name i'm going to create it i can show you let's wait for few seconds i'm going to show you okay almost it's going to complete it win cluster 0 01 win cluster 0 02 <coughs> so it won't take much time it's completed here okay great in cluster 0 02 it's completed very quickly and the same like yes it's a completed in the both the missions guys now we can go to the any vm and it's uh, okay it's completed it's showing and roles tools it's uh, go to the tools failover cluster where is a failover cluster so restart you must restart oh very strange and it's so generally features is not required to restart the vm what about here okay here also same thing no you must restart it's saying that let's see here generally not required mm, okay <coughs> so here i'm trying to search it it's so can i get it here one more restart very strange okay good and um, let me restart the vm it's asking the restart so switch and restart planned this is a one and continue and same like here also and uh, i'm trying to restart both the missions okay great so once is a restart completed we'll try to log in again and uh, create a cluster and it won't take much time to restart it because of you have not maintained any resources any data nothing hopefully it's a take it won't take much time so i'm trying to connect the cluster 02 first we restart cluster 02 that's the reason again i'm trying to connect with the cluster 02 and cluster one connect bastion use bastion and um, yes so here providing the domain credentials okay now good and tools let's check it tools yes failover cluster manager and here it's a still it's a trying to loading let's wait for a few seconds it will uh, loading the server manager also so here tools yes failover cluster manager is available click on failover cluster manager so it will open guys failover cluster manager yes good and failover cluster manager is open now i'm trying to create a cluster guys click on create a it's a failover cluster manager right click on that create a cluster so very basic resource i took due to that it's taking a little bit time to getting the 
window here but uh, generally real time will take the high end resources or uh, d series e series like that so right now b series only i took so generally this is a lab that's the reason and click on next and uh, enter the names it's uh, the two servers i have win cluster 01 check names and same like win cluster 02 check names yes good and both the vms it's added as a selected servers cloudpartiala.com with the domain name click on next so here it's saying that validation warning yes when i click next run the configuration validation test and then return to the process of creating the cluster yes i want generally it's a very very important why because of any um, like both the cluster uh, when we are trying to configure as a cluster both the vms same configuration it's not available and it will show you the uh, what are the errors or configuration differences software related and hardware related everything it will provide it guys and you can see uh, it's a trying to validate it it won't take much time and it's a very quickly it's going to complete it uh, mostly it's a we are utilizing both the vm same configuration and we won't get it generally we'll get the one warning message uh, mostly that is a network related because of you are not using the heartbeat uh, failure heartbeat related cluster heartbeat and it will show you one network interface card only there is no redundancy like that it will show you blah blah don't worry about that warnings we can ignore it only it's a errors it's a very important to troubleshoot it so mostly we won't get the any errors let's see the report also once is a completed so almost is going to complete it let's uh, okay everything pass only okay here something somewhere it's a i'm trying to understand okay anyhow let's wait for so yes a report is uh, available click view report and uh, why i uh I turn off the e and answered security so i want to see the report it's a generally it will give the some pop-up window these all those things i don't want still i will get it but just ask me later and uh, click on okay and now i can see the report so majorly inventory success and network is a warning expected storage we are not using anything um so to system configuration warning okay that's uh, go to the system configuration. What is a warning here? And the software updates might be it's a, both the software is a up to date. It's a, before that we need to up to date the patches and everything. And it's showing the some article is a find the things. And that's not a big deal even. And we can install it or it's a, we can ignore it. That is a warning. That's not a big deal. Okay. So up to date patches also important before that click on finish and now cluster name so what is our cluster name so i will create a win cluster like that win cluster i will give the win cluster that's it i'm not going to give any name it's a my cluster name is a win cluster so netbios name is a limited 15 characters one or more dscp ip version 4 address were configured automatically all networks are configured automatically it's showing but i will show you one more thing also and uh, instead of it so you can see add eligible storage to the cluster no i don't want any eligible storage to the this cluster right now i don't have click on next and it's now creating the cluster guys generally 2016 below and 2016 up to 2016 operating system the cluster name separate one ip address is required but 2019 onwards 2019 and 2022 operating system we don't require the cluster ip address guys we don't require the cluster ip address why we don't require because of that is a future available under 2019 onwards what is that future distributed server name 
what is the mean of distributor server name so that cluster it will utilize the in which node is available accordingly that node ip address only it's going to take it that node ip address it will treat as a cluster ip address so that is a future guys due to that it's not required 2019 onwards if it is a 2016 up to yes definitely it's a required and different you know uh, how to configure i will show you in next video 2016 when windows failover cluster at that time i will show you that part point also especially you you should uh, point out and next video you can refer it you will get it okay so here name win cluster this is a one online so let's check it here also open failover cluster <coughs> from the both the missions also same thing we can able to see it okay so here win cluster and uh, here you can see a uh, distributed server name and right now both the nodes is available <coughs> win cluster 01 win cluster 02 if you select the win cluster and uh, right now is the second node is a primary node primary node is a second node and due to that cluster ip address will get it the second node of the ip address so let's test it and one more point here guys generally if you are doing the real time um, so definitely most of the time we don't have privileges to um, like domain join as well as uh, when creating the cluster we'll get the some error why is the error also i will tell you if you don't have privileges of domain join related privileges computer objective creation of the things you don't have privileges definitely we'll get the error so in this scenario, you should ask to your Active Directory admin team and get the privileges of create a computer object to create a computer object to privileges is a required guys. When you are creating the cluster, that is a must and should required guys. If you can't get it, at least these two VMs needs to be get the that create a computer object to privileges at least require the these two vms so that when as you're creating the cluster automatically win cluster one computer object is going to create it one computer object two is going to create it that's the reason very very important generally real time you will get that error in case of you don't have privileges domain admin or create a computer object to or domain join related privileges if you don't have you will get the error you need to find out that way okay that solution also I given here and here NS lookup and you can try to give the win cluster and you can see here win cluster it's uh, taking the address of two VMs related IP address but uh, majorly 10.0.2.5 because of second cluster is a primary node that's the reason primarily it's showing that is a one okay coming to next cloud witness is a important so go to the cloud witness how to create a cloud witness more action and configure the forum settings yes here click on next and what type of forums we can able to do it default forums configuration forum witness and advanced quorum configuration so right now advanced quorum configuration right now i'm selecting click on next and it's uh, both the nodes yes selected both the nodes and that's a uh, right now i required is a configure cloud witness cloud witness cloud storage as a witness click on next here it's asking the storage account as well as that key as well as that key is uh, asking guys we should provide it and as uh, uh, accordingly we can get the cloud witness for this vms so this one go to the home uh, let me try to find out the storage yes storage account this is uh, one of these storage account so i will create a one more storage account so i will going to use it so you will get the idea also so yeah so i will uh, select the youtube lab or g this is a win cluster witness purpose and east us i want and uh, 
Geo replication, LRS, it's enough to me. And standard and advanced, nothing changes. Network is off, enable and uh, cloud partial virtual network. This is a one. And uh, okay, nothing, nothing changes. And as it is, review and create it. Validation is a yes, completed and created. Let me try to create a private endpoint also. Generally, real time will perform like this way. Same like I'm going to show you. It's something, it's a different lab and uh, real time is a different, not like that. I'm going to show you wherever it's, uh, I'm saying you can note it down and especially domain join related already I mentioned two times morely. Uh, more than two times I mentioned, you can refer that point. Let's wait for complete this one. And for this already, you know, I have some script also I'm maintain. So here, okay. Okay, no problem. So we can try to perform it that way. So once is a creation of done. I will create a private endpoint after that. We'll try to do the this one, guys. Just wait for a few seconds. We are trying to perform it. We'll try to perform it. And one more thing it's uh, you want a shared disk, and we can create a disk and attach it to both the VMs that shared disk. And uh, that shared disk we can't attach to the directly the two VMs shared disk. And we motion should uh, go with the PowerShell script. That one also I will try to show you. And one more thing, it's a backup. So shared is directly a recovery service vault. It won't uh, support it. Backup vault, we need to deploy it and configure for that separately that uh, shared disk. Okay. So storage account is ready. And uh, I will go to the networking. Generally, real time will use the private endpoint. So, same like I'm going to create a private endpoint. So, just a minute, go to the resource, win cluster witness, that is a name. Again, networking, private endpoint, private endpoint, and the same, that name, I'm not going to change it, but uh, require the HGS and resource. I want is a blob resource. Yes, blob cloud witness is going to deploy on that. So subnet dynamically allocate the IP address. Okay. And the static also we can assign it. And uh, this is a one app subnet. I will take it. And I think if this is a name is a storage account name and private IP address 10.0.2.6 um, I hope. Yes. If it is already utilized there. And it will show you the error message. You can see already IP address is a already using. So 2.6 I'm taking. And the DNS also automatically created private DNS zone. And that is also private link dot blob dot code dot windows dot net like that it will going to create it. And with the DNS record totally. Let's wait for a few seconds. Yes, created. It's uh, trying to create a private endpoint. So let's try to do it, guys. Just a minute. Because of once it's uh, completed, yes, we'll try to perform it. In between time, I will go to the storage account, cloud witness, and uh, storage uh, keys, access keys I required. This is a storage account name. Yes, go to the win cluster two. On this, I'm providing the storage account name. Paste it. Okay. So here, I will try to paste it here. And paste it here. Now it works. Yes, good. And uh, coming to 
keys. I required uh, any one of the key copied and go to the cluster. And before that, okay, it won't work, obviously. Where is that uh, dot dot? It is not showing. Uh? This is a problem, guys. This is a very problem. Let me try to here totally. I will take it the storage account name. Not bad. And as well as key also. I will note it down and here both the things I will copy and paste it. Uh, let's okay good. And from this place also we can create a that more action and configure quorum settings. Click on next advanced quorum configuration click on next and next and here cloud witness and click on next here and uh, right now what i copied i will uh, try to in my this server notepad i will open and paste it yes it's working good and copied yes and one more is a key here oh it's not copied huh? copied oh god what man Yes, copy. Yes, and next. Yes, click on next. And you can see, guys, Cloud Witness also we created. Yes, you can see, guys, Cloud Witness is online. Totally is online. Cluster is online. Cloud Witness also online. And what is the next? And you can see nodes also. Both the nodes and role and role it's a kind of for uh, which roles like sql means sql database related role sap means that sap related network or ana or something else they accordingly the role will come the role also virtual ip must and should require cluster means it's a cluster name as a 2019 onwards it's a different 2016 below it's a different so for this what should we do and we need to and the load balancer is a required load balancer and create a load balancer that load balancer ip address i'm going to use it as a cluster ip so virtual ip we are going to use it cluster role purpose okay so how to do it i'm going to show you this is the one win cluster something like i'm giving win cluster lb I'm giving the name is to us and standard. I'm going to take it basic also supported guys, but basic is a deep uh, creating and it's a standards only. It's a, right now it's a recommended to use it and deploy it and how to upgrade from basic to standard. Also, I create already one video. You can refer it. You can get the idea how to in, uh, upgrade basic to standard. So front end IP address and uh, I'm going to use it sub front end this is a lb ip sorry lb ip subnet is a app subnet and i want static uh, static y10.0.2.7 okay and click on add <coughs> so add backend pools both the vms we need to add it guys so win cluster 01 Win cluster 02, click on add. Both the VMs is added here. Save. Okay, backend pool name. Cluster pool. And next, 
these things uh, we are not going to create it and after i'm going to create a very interesting point here i'm going to show you load balancing rule that is especially uh, normally load balancer rule it's a different guys and for cluster purpose very different i'm going to show you that part also so let's wait for a few seconds and after that i'm going to show you that point also once is a load balancer deployment completed i will going to show you and as well as i'm going to show you the role it's a one dummy role i will try to create it and how we'll get it the load balancer ip address okay great it's a load balancer also ready guys so here load balancing rule it's a must and should very important here click on add and here a uh, cluster a rule like i'm giving the name cluster rule 01 like that i'm giving the name front end lbip back end pool cluster and ha high available ports enabling because of high available ports means here information is given enable load balancing on all ports for tcp and udp protocols yes i don't have load balance it's a health probe right now create a health probe cluster uh health edge probe zero one and right now suppose i'm going to give the some four four five suppose example file share so here session position nothing it's a it's a this is the ideal timeout generally we can increase it. it depends on requirement we can increase it up to 30 minutes also and enable floating IP. This is a very, very important, guys. These are the configuration generally for clustering high available ports as well as enable floating IP. Without high available ports also, just enable the floating IP address, we can use it. But enable floating IP address, very, very important when creating the this one, clustering purpose. Click on save it once is a this is a done what will happen you know it's a one network interface card one network loop back adapter wise it will create a one network interface card guys and why is it created because of that virtually it's assigned the ip address to that cluster role that's the reason on the both the missions on both mission one that when we enable the floating IP in the load balancer, adding as backend pool we are creating, automatically here one loop back adapter is going to create it. One loop back adapter is going to create it. Is a which is a primary role on that loop back IP address that is a assigned on that, and accordingly it will provide the services through load balancer. Through load balancer it will provide it, guys. So this is not required here, and it's a cloud witness also. You can see it here. So yes, load balancing rule, it's ready guys. And uh, configure the role and next, suppose I will try to create a, some role and a file server role, suppose example, just example. No, like a generic role or any other role also we can create a so generic service, suppose example. <coughs> so select the service. Okay, any services also we can select it generic wise. That's not a problem. Just is a find out any role. Uh, Windows update or auto config and so many services is a Microsoft is a providing here. And uh, any role we can select it or otherwise go back to here. And here you can see there is a other roles is also available. So suppose I'm selecting other server, click on next. And name of the server is a cluster role, a role, and next. And uh, I don't have any storage for this right now. This a shared disk is required, guys, for storing the data. That particular data should be stored on the shared between these two VMs. It's a cluster means that is important. So select storage nothing, and click on next. Something, okay just uh, yes and uh, sd sd management something service i'm going to using 
and here you can see guys dhcp wise from this subnet from this subnet i am getting the one ip address so let's finish it and role is a stop state why i can show you right now from this subnet i got the ip address 0.0.0, .0, .0. but that is not right way yes how to get it that cluster ip address click right click on the cluster rule and go to the properties just a minute guys it's uh, my vm is us very slowly uh, responding let me try to properties yes and uh, select both the cluster and fail over okay not this is a way just a minute uh generally it's a uh, properties only properties and the cluster role fell over okay it's not happening okay resource yes here uh offline why is the offline means because of that is a ip address not online and it's a you can see cluster network is a offline i can show you how to bring online also go to the properties this is the right way dhcp enable no i don't want and static and what is the cluster ip address front end what i'm going to using and 2.7 i'm going to provide the 2.7 and click on ok now automatically the cluster role will bring online yes good and bring online and definitely my cluster role also come to online guys start role yes everything online that means i'm succeeded so windows failure cluster totally set up completed with the load balancer ip address with the load balancer ip address guys you can refer it here okay so this is a totally guys it's a set up the windows failure cluster on azure platform if you have any questions anything you can comment and i will try to cover in the next video in the 2016 windows failure cluster setup okay thank you guys have a nice day we'll meet and before that if you like my video please like and subscribe thank you bye